Hi, welcome to Eckhart Yoga. I'm Gilda and this class is about animal basics, so animal movements from Budokan Yoga. And I like to give you a small introduction into the seventh part of the Budokan primary series or um, to be more precise to some of the movements in it. Animal movements uh, have become very popular these days in the fitness world and also in the yoga world. And we use them a lot in Budokan yoga. And the three main reasons why I, why I like to practice them are that, first of all, they are playful. They are um, reconnecting you with your childlike nature. So um, they are fun to do. The second reason is that they are also a good way to balance your upper trunk and your lower trunk, so or your, your lower body. If you think of your shoulder girdle in relation to the hip girdle, the hip girdle is very, um, it's meant to, to weight bearing, for weight bearing, so it's, it's very strong, while the shoulder girdle for humans is not that strong. And animal movements help to create balance in there. And the third par uh, part of um, why I like to practice or why we are practicing them is that uh, they also take some cardiovascular effort. So they are also training your heart and your lungs. Three good reasons. And we get started right away. I have my cheetah pants on. <laughs> Let's get into beast mode. <laughs> um, very short warm up. So by the way, you can practice the sequence uh, as an addition to your regular yoga practice, or you can practice the sequence on its own. Um, so maybe you're already warmed up when you're doing that, but let's start for a brief moment in child's pose, extending your arms out all the way and place the crown, or not the crown, but the third eye, the point between your eyebrows on the floor in front of you. Keep your knees a little wider and connect with your breath. Allow your inhale to travel up your back body, along the kidney area, all the way up toward your shoulder blades. And on an exhalation, draw your belly toward the navel. Create a little bit of tone in your abdominal muscles already and send the pelvis backwards toward the heels. And keep this long, strong, steady breath, maybe ujjayi if you're used to it. And with an inhalation, lift the forehead off the floor a tiny bit, but keep your neck long and neutral. And then thread your left arm underneath the right arm and find a twisted child's pose. Coming on tented fingertips on the right side, looking through your right armpit and lengthening out the left arm a little more. Take one more big breath here. And then come up on your next inhalation. Press the right hand into the floor. Unravel. Find an extended child's pose. And then take your right arm and thread it underneath your left armpit. Come to tented fingers on your left side and elongate your right arm even longer. Take one more breath. Then root your left hand down. Come back to your extended child's pose. And from here on your next inhalation, roll up into your four point base tabletop position. Bring the knees a little closer together so that they are only hip width apart. And take yourself through a few rounds of cat and cows. Spinal flexion and extension. And in order to prepare the wrist for a little bit more of weight bearing, also point the fingertips toward the body and do a few rounds of cat and cow with the hands in this position. I like to add some circles 
with your hip, with the hips and with the shoulders. So maybe you like to follow me. Do the same. Change direction. Make the circles a little wider. And come back to center, four point base. Turn your fingertips around. Spread your fingers wide. Open your hands a little wider than shoulder width distance and open the knees so that they are matching the distance of your hands. Then curl the toes under, lift the knees off the floor, stay low to the ground and draw a few circles here with the knees lifted off the floor. The other way. And then keep your knees wide, bend the knees more and send your sits bones upwards toward the ceiling. Coming into a downward facing dog. If you would like to walk your legs out a tiny bit or shift your pelvis from side to side, very welcome to do so. And then bend your knees Look forwards toward your hands and walk, step or hop into a malasana squat. So you want to jump your feet around your hands. And when you're here, shift a little bit from side to side. A few circles with the hips. And then take your hands down and if you're like me at the front of the mat, you can come a little bit toward the back of the mat. For our first technique, the gorilla. <laughs> and for the gorilla, you want to sweep your hands forwards and then jump your feet in front of your hands. So it looks like that, fingers forward. Keep your hips low, keep your hands where they are and jump back. Yeah, do one more together. Fingers forward, jump forward, leave your hands where they are and jump back. Got it? Let's do six more of this together. So hands sweep forward, <laughs> you jump, you stay low, you jump back. Four more. Three more. Two more. One more. And coming back into the first position, prayer squat. So if you feel your heart pumping a little more, then you have done the right thing. And if you feel that your legs are a little bit tired, you can always shake your legs out by just shifting from side to side and bringing a little bit of movement in the hips or come up and bend and straighten one leg at the time or sway around with your hips a little bit. <coughs> so you keep this technique in mind and I show you the next technique, which is called Leaping Leopard. And for Leaping Leopard, you want to jump up with a lot of tension in the body. So you want to leap up and your fingers are straight, your legs are straight, your toes are pointing and you jump all the way up into the air like a cat jumping up. Looks like that. And you're landing back in squat. Do two more together. Okay, and then we have five more to go. Two more, one more, and if you like to shake out the legs, well done, you can do so. In a lower position, or you come up for a moment. So, leaping leopard, <coughs> And you can also add a turn over the shoulder 
um, for the next round. So you're leaping up and then you're turning, you're looking back over the right shoulder and you land facing the other side of the mat. Okay, ready? Let's go. Turn and you're back in prayer squat facing the other side of the mat and then to come back we take a look over the left shoulder and jump back. Okay, good. So keep this technique in mind. So we have two different techniques. We have the gorilla and the leaping leopard. Last technique for today is the fighting gorilla. And for fighting gorilla, you want to keep your hands wide, at least shoulder width apart. And you come down onto your belly <laughs> and leap up. So you want to pop up, it's an explosive movement to come up into the squat again. Let's do it one more time together. Keep your hands wide, bring them down to the floor, come to the belly and pop up. Okay? We do six more of this technique. Tough one, fighting gorilla. So take a big breath and start. Pop up. Four, five, four, three, two, and the last one. Okay, so now we have three different techniques. Shake out your leg a little bit. Getting ready to combine all three in a little flow. And I start by showing you the full flow first and then you can follow me and we do it together. Sounds good? <laughs> okay, let's go. We start with um, Gorilla, coming into Fighting Gorilla, back into Squat and then we turn, Leaping Leopard over the right shoulder facing the other side of the mat and we do the same until we jump over and see the other side of the mat again. All right. So for gorilla, hands forward, feet follow. Keep the hands where they are, come back. Keep your hands wide, come to the belly, pop up. Leaping leopard, turn over the right shoulder. Gorilla, forwards, back. Fighting gorilla, squat, turn over the left shoulder. Okay. <laughs> so if this was your break, let's go together. And we do six more of these. So breathe deeply, focus on the breath. And let's go, sweep the hands forward. Feet around the hand, jump back, fighting gorilla, come to the belly, pop up, turn over the right shoulder, leaping leopard, come forward, go back, fighting gorilla, pop up, turn over the left shoulder, come forward, backwards, fighting gorilla on the belly, pop up, turn over the right shoulder, keep going, forwards, backwards, Fighting gorilla, come up, over the left shoulder. And the last two, I'm with you. Doing it with you. Hard to talk, come down to the belly, pop up, left shoulder. And you stay here and squat, shake it out. Let's allow your hat to hang heavy. And then transition back to sit on your heels. Close your eyes and allow the heart rate to slow down a little bit. Breathing in and out of your nostrils. Ah. 
Heart rate is becoming slower, breath deeper. All right, open up your eyes. And of course, if you feel very energetic, you can repeat this sequence more than once, or more than the six times we've done together. <laughs> um, I hope you had fun with this one. So thank you very much for practicing. See you soon. <laughs>